So I am unpacking the MiG-29. As you can see here, this is the top portion. Um, rudders, elevators, no, I'm sorry, elevators, wings, canopy, nose, and the new pack with the elevator servo setup, the new beefier style. These are the servos, obviously, that are gonna be replaced. These are the probably the still the 17 gram servos. Uh, you can see where they cut the servo arm so that you can only put it in that, uh, well, one of two choices instead of three holes. They want you to put in the outer hole. But I will be changing those out to the, the new pack, the 30 gram. And you can see here the stock servos that are still in there. Uh, looks They're probably the 17 gram. And you can see where they originally cut that servo arm, leaving only the, the inner hole and the, uh, I'm sorry, the middle hole and the inner hole, uh, clipping that off there where the outer hole was. Um, but they decided to go ahead and supply us with the new 30 gram servos with the larger, beefier linkage. So I'm going to install the, the new gear, excuse me, the new uh, servos. You can see here that there are uh, two different servos, uh, one's opposite. So you see one that has the, the red, white, and black wire. The other's going to have the orange, the yellow, and the black wire. And so when we pull these out, we'll know which one goes where because that same wire will be right inside there. So let's go ahead and get started. So I've unpackaged the new 30 gram servos and they are very, very nice. Uh, they are metal encased around the, the middle portion. And you can see there the metal, the metal servo arms and there is only one hole there and they've already placed, already placed the arm uh, along with the linkage together already. So I'm just gonna make sure all those things are tight and they're snug in the way they should be. But you can see here, this one has the, the brown, the orange, and the yellow wire. And then the second one has the, the red, the black, and the white wire. So we will figure out which one goes where by what's already installed. And you can see there that it is pretty darn thick uh, compared to the last one. So as a matter of fact, I'll pull out the last one so you can see it. Okay, so there's the thickness of the new arm versus the thickness of the original. There's the original that goes in there. They actually package this in here as well. Uh, so you can see the difference. Uh, there is a difference here though, obviously that it has a, a, uh, uh, a plastic case around it already, but you can definitely see the difference in the thickness of the linkage itself. Really big difference. I don't think there's anything to worry about there. Also along in the package, the elevator package, is the uh, the brackets for the elevators <clears throat> themselves for the full flying stabs themselves and i gotta tell you I, i'm not sure if they actually beat this up it actually looks like it may be because it's a little bit a uh, little bit looks appears to be a little bit thicker than the last one but i am trying to bend that and it is not bending so i'm pretty confident that they did something to these to make them a little thicker maybe a thicker gauge of steel or something like that but uh, they are pretty stout I know there were some guys saying that they thought these were a problem area and that they've been very easy, but um, mine uh, doesn't appear to be very uh, flimsy at all. So I'm gonna trust that when we put those together and uh, we'll test it later. I'll say, okay, so as you can see, um, there are two screws here, one there, one there. I'm just gonna take these, these screws out and then lift this out very carefully because inside here is the, uh, the connecting wire. The wires are actually running from the front of the fuselage all the way back uh, into here. And so we wanna be careful when we pull that wire out so that we don't uh, damage the wire, uh, the connector. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this off. this and it's wiggling loose now take that out and there we go so this is the yellow orange and brown wire so I am gonna pull on that just a little bit see if I can get that to come out uh, a little bit tough getting this one out let's see okay that was a little tougher to get out 
than I anticipate it. That wire should be right there. It's not close like I thought it would be. I don't want to pull on that too hard because I don't want that to get to pull this wire out and then the other other end gets stuck in there and I can't get it out, can't reach it. So I'm gonna try some things here. All right, guys. So what I decided to do is uh, because that elevator wire is so tight that I believe it's catching right here. So I went inside and I unplugged it. Uh, from here, I'm gonna untie it to loosen everything up and then pull it uh, from from the elevator area so I can get some more uh, some more space in there. And the other uh, coming off of here is running this side. So I'm going to loosen that and uh, see if I can get it out that way. Okay, so I've got that loose. This is the orange, the brown, and the red wire. I've got that loose, so now it's running through here. So I am going to uh, gently tug on this and see if it'll come out now uh, let's see okay, it feels like it's moving so there it is so that's what we want to to loosen uh excuse me to take apart replace with the new servo and the linkage and we're good to go so i'm gonna flip this over and get that done so now i'm just gonna take this uh take this off of here place it with the new new servo let's so get that off of there with one hand I think I can. Give me one second. I'm going to take that off. Okay, so now that we have the wire out and the connector for the new servo, you want to make sure that the connections are uh, in the same polarity. So in this example here, you see that the orange wire is on the right side, the red which is in the middle, which will always be in the middle, uh, and the brown on the left side. However, over on the connector from the plane, the orange is on the left side. So you, what you want to do is make sure that's turned around that way to make sure they're in the same polarity. So now you have the orange on the left, red in the middle, brown on the right. Connect that in there and you'll have good polarity. Otherwise, you would not have a good connection because the grounds are, would not be the same. So uh, we'll put this in place and we will be in business. Okay, I have just a, a small slice of electrical tape that I would just wrap around this right here. Okay, that's not coming off of there. Okay, so we'll just run that back through the channel. I'm gonna give it just a little tug from back from the front of the fuselage again, just to make sure that's in there where it should be. Okay, that goes up in there like that. And the arm pointing out. goes back in there just like so and it goes down we'll put our screws back down and we are going to be ready to go we we'll do the same thing to the other side and you're all hooked up and ready to go now you just follow the instructions from there by getting your servo centered and that just about completes it so we'll install the other one same way we did we'll also reconnect the elevator wires back to the front, pull them back through the channel, pull it through here so it, so it pulls it through here, just back to where it should be. It's probably sitting about right in there is where the connectors are. And then uh, reattach the wires so that uh, they're snug and, and all, uh, all in one piece. Put the wire back around it, uh, the securing wire, and we're ready to go. So on another note, just to make sure you understand, as you can see, I already have the right side in and connected. But this one had the black, the red, and the white. So you wanna make sure the same thing, that the polarity is the same. So if the if the connector has the black on the outside, you make sure it's on the outside, on the, on the left side, or vice versa. You make sure they match, that you have to click for polarity. Okay, so the reason that I took this off is because I needed to center this arm. It was actually angled down just a little bit right there. It needed to be at a 90 degree angle, just like the left one is here, so I, took off, uh, loosened up this 1.5 millimeter Allen head screw there, took the top screw off there, pulled it off and centered it up and it centered straight up. Uh, so that's the reason I took that off. So if you need to do that, uh, mechanically is the best way to do it. So that way the, the uh, servo is actually centered. So have them both installed 
This is the right side elevator. And this is the left elevator. All installed. You can see very, very, very nice um, metal servo arms. Much beefier linkage there. Uh, and actually with a thicker uh, clevis there as well. I mean, that is really, really thick. I'm really pleased with what they did with this. And as you can see, also, uh, metal clevis is there and they already have this clipped uh, with a, I'm sorry, uh, fastened with a, uh, with a fastener there. So that is not coming off of there because if I'm not mistaken, I remember there were a couple of planes uh, from past crashes that wondered how this came off of there. Um, so looks like they have it to where it's probably not going to come off uh, too easily. But they went all out, guys, to, to see if they could get this uh, corrected uh, to the point to where, not that they were meeting any faults or anything, because there are plenty of guys out there that are flying this with the, th with the stock servos, uh, with no problem at all. Stock servo, stock linkage, and uh, some with the, the uh, arms not cut and using the hole they want to use. They just fly the way they should, uh, not with full flaps, at <laughs> full speed. But uh, uh, so... They're not admitting that the servo was a problem. They're just they're just doing things that are that are satisfying their customers, and I'm really pleased with that. And uh, of course, no no doubt you have a peace of mind with having this set up on here. 30 gram servos, all metal there, thicker metal here, um, and very easily installed. So guys, I uh, uh, hope everybody does well with this plane. I will see if I can get mine up here pretty soon. We have some really bad weather here for the next week or so, uh, lots and lots of rain. Uh, we had lots of flooding today here in Dallas, Texas, and it's supposed to rain all this week. So we'll see if we can get this, uh, take this, take the time this week to get this built. And hopefully by the time the rains stop, I should be finished. And we'll see if we can get this puppy up. Should have plenty of elevator authority, that's for sure. Guys, if you have any questions or anything, give me a call. Sorry, give me a shout. <laughs> Don't give me a call. Give me a shout uh, down in the in the comments below. And uh, we'll see what we can do to get those answered pretty quickly. But anyway, this is what you got. Very nice setup. I love the color of that too. I'm glad they chose red. That's a good accent to this. Love it. Thank you, Motion.